For years now, there has really been one thing standing in the way of a new bridge to Canada being built. And that one thing is Maddie Maroon, the current owner of the Ambassador Bridge. Well, now there's word Canada might be making a play to end the stalemate once and for all. Let's get to business editor Rod Maloney. Rod, what have you learned? Well, it, it, tell you what, Everett, we're learning tonight exactly how much Canada wants to get the Gordie Howe Bridge built. It is actually willing to buy this bridge, or at least consider buying this bridge, as a way to break the bridge logjam. It would be an understatement to say Maddie Maroon and Canada don't like each other. It is disdain on a grand scale. But the Canadian government feels so strongly about wanting the Gordie Howe Bridge to go in, it's now talking about negotiating to buy the near century old and decaying Ambassador Bridge. Local 4 News has confirmed there have been two meetings between Maddie Maroon and his son and this man, Dwight Duncan. Duncan is the chief of the Detroit Windsor Bridge Authority, the Gordie Howe Bridge, but in this instance, he's more an emissary of the Canadian government to explore options. We're told by two sources he's going to recommend to new Canadian Premier Justin Trudeau a purchase to end the bridge logjam. Duncan recently met with the Maroons to gauge their sincerity to turn over a new leaf and work out some kind of arrangement. You'll recall that Maroon wants a second and new span to go over to Canada and struck a similarly conciliatory tone with the city of Detroit to get this land that sits next to the Ambassador Bridge and will allow him to put in new bridge footings. In the meantime, Maroon has apparently previously priced his bridge at $3 billion. Whether that's a price tag he is still looking for is unknown, and whether Canada wants to spend anything near that amount remains an unanswered question as well. Now, we are told that this bit of international horse trade talk happened because Matthew Maroon, Maddie's son, emailed the Toronto Star, the newspaper, looking to get somebody there to connect them with somebody in the government to see if they could get these talks going. And so the, the claim is that similar to what happened here in Detroit, they're trying to do the same thing in Canada with Matthew Maroon, the son, trying to sort of lead the way and try and smooth things over. Back to you. And Rod, so what about the Maroons? What are they saying about this negotiation? Well, uh, you know, we called over to the bridge company, to the Maroon uh, representatives, and so far they're not responding to anything that has anything to do with this story. All righty. Rod Maloney reporting live for us tonight. Rod, thank you. Sandra?